So I'm currently on the highest point of the Mendips. And I had a thought, would it be easier riding gravel on a flat bar bike or on a proper gravel bike? So I've come out with Kevin Justin today. We're up in the Mendips and we're exploring what it is like for me to ride a flat gravel bike compared to my trek in its gravel setup. Stay tuned to find out what I think. So far we've done some uh, pretty beginner stuff gravel, some family bike paths through Wales. We're now on the real serious stuff. This is probably one of the hardest bits we're going to do today. We're going up uh, towards Penn Hill out of Wales on what is essentially I think a mountain bike trail but you can, if you've got the skills, get by on a gravel bike. Mark Taylor had the skills and you got up here no problem. Me however, we'll see what I can do on this uh, flat bar bike. I think I've got 40 tyres. 40, 42 tyres, whereas Kev is on my trek. And this is his first time, only second time gravelling, but his first time riding this bike and uh, his first time doing this trail. How do you think you're gonna get on, Kev? Wow, like you said, it's my second gravel ride, so. <laughs> could could, out could be bike. hiker bike. Yeah, it could be. But no, loving the bike. Yeah. Like being on a mountain bike. I was gonna say, have you, you joined the, um, joined the trek club or have you stolen my bike? <laughs> <laughs> well. We'll start with the answer at the end, but no, <laughs> it's normally a swear word for me. Of course, we've also got Justin, who's eating. No. <laughs> the fuel get, getting the fuel in for this climb. Yeah. courage to get up again in an armful of a friend. Between walls, we both know all so well. Now's the time he stops pretending. Oh. Oh Ability-wise, it's a lot easier on this bike. Fitness-wise, I am blowing. I had to stop just getting my breath back, not because I couldn't do it. Oh man. Well, you made that look ridiculously easy, Kev. You left us all standing. Fun, so it's, it's obviously a bad workman blames his tools because there's nothing wrong with the tools, <laughs> <laughs> just the engine. This is an animal. Uh, all terrain. Here's, the boat was fine. Boat, I, I was doing a lot better than I did on that one last time. And my lungs were dead. That was harder than bike packing up a hill. It was the leaves on top of the stones. So yeah, you just couldn't see it. Yeah. Well, that's the Pennell Bride away. I couldn't film much. I think my uh, GoPro gave up the ghost because it was so shaky. My arms really hurt. That was really bumpy. Enjoy that? <laughs> yeah. Along with the cow part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The state of my wheels. You don't look at me wheels. It looked Pete's shoes last week. <laughs> Should we do a bit of gravel? <laughs> oh, tarmac. Or oh, tarmac, yeah. Dried mud is not fun. No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Deb's going to be too impressed with my uh, addition to a bike. <laughs> Say it's hard work. Yeah. You're embossing it and dropping everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it feels like we've done 50 miles already. We're like, what, 10 feet from home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't spoil it. Right, so we're now on this uh, new route that has been advertised as being just outside of Pretty. So we're going to try this, see where it goes. Uh, it looks a bit muddy at the minute. Dry mud, of course. Everything's dry and hard at the minute, so let's just hope it's not as bumpy as the field past the Penel Master. <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to this. Just left 
Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, it's some more of it. Oh, well, that last bit was absolutely amazing. We haven't actually finished yet. We found a bit more. Where does this bit go? On, Ugly on. Warren. I mean, that looks quite rural. Yeah, we get on that way and follow the Yeah. Yeah, get on. Making our way up to the highest point on the Mendix. Oh, that's a good bit of fun coming down there. Ah, now we've got to find the right trail because there are loads of footpaths and bridleways, and I think some of the bridleways aren't as good as the footpaths. <laughs> we'll pick our way to the trip point. <laughs> You're going to try and get up it on somebody else's bike. <laughs> Show off. <laughs> so, are you enjoying it so far, Kev? Absolutely loving it. And how's the bike? The dream. <laughs> <laughs> it, it tackles everything. It's a good to hear. I might, might have to have a go on that one later on, see what yeah, you think of a, the flat bar. See if you think that's any easier. I, I've got more confidence on it, but it is a lot bumpier. That suspension dampening that the, the Trek has got is incredible, I think. Yeah, we've got to go down now, and then up quick speak. It's a great spot in it just. Great. 360 views. Yep. See the, the mass where we came from. Yeah. Oh <laughs> right over there. By the Pennell Mass. And you can see the bridge where you were last week. Oh yeah! <laughs> see both of them. And a plane landing uh, at Bristol Airport. Oh, yeah. Easy to yeah.
I'm still a chicken going downhill. It, it feels better letting it flow. The, the faster you go, the, the better it is. Yeah, it's just worse going slow. Go with it. But then, and then your confidence goes about the brakes, and <laughs> just a coward, basically. <laughs> it's definitely not the tool that slows me down going down hills, anyway. He's even leaving you behind, Justice. That was too rough for me. <laughs> You're just a beast, Kev. Like you said, though, just have to release and just go with it. Just have to go with it. Can we put this to sleep and just never repeat All we need to is walk out the door So come on, break it up now, break it up, honey The satisfaction in you don't seem to be fine I'm feeling crazy now, I'm really I don't know about you, Kev, I'm absolutely loving this. I'm just rubbish at it. <laughs> I don't know why I don't do it more often. It's amazing, isn't it? So I haven't stopped grinning. No, it's just, just laughing all the way down yeah. there. Got a little bit further than I did. Here comes the beast. Nope. Oh, I came second. <laughs> and just like that, we're back on the strawberry line. So we're gonna see if we can find some coffee now. So a little easy gravel to come back. The uh, mountain bike stuff we've been doing, the chunky rocks. Um, yeah, all our arms are hurting a little bit now, so it's time for a nice stop. We're going to see if we can find a cafe somewhere, find some refreshments, but we're having a laugh. Go on now, be good, be fine, live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind, live, it's your life. Avoid the main road, we're just doing a bit of hike bike away from the strawberry line up a footpath to get to the bridle way at the bottom of Crook's Peak. And to be fair, <laughs> we've cycled up worse today. That was the technical bit. The steep bit's up there though. <laughs> up to the trig point. Not bad as it looks, surely. Well, you'd hope it isn't as bad as it looks, but yeah, that's uh, fairly steep. I think Justin will plough up there, regardless. <laughs> I'm going to check your bike for a motor afterwards. I had to make the path about 50 foot wide there. <laughs> <laughs> There's some views up there, boys. Definitely some views up there. All the way up the top. that how did you do that there's got to be a motor in there <laughs> what do you reckon kev i reckon <laughs> the cadence was about five but you were turning the pedal so well, that's, that's a whole year of practicing on fixies <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you need to get fixies and uh, gravel bikes then <laughs> see you later rach <laughs> see you in another three hours <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Wavering Down is an apt name because we're all wavering now. But yeah, Wavering Down 
I don't know how high it is. It's the it's another high point because it's a trig point. But stunning views again of Western Bay, Breen Down, all the way over to Cheddar, Glastonbury Tours in the distance. Oh, worth the effort to come up, even if you want to walk up here. But definitely worth cycling up. Some bits going down though. Balboa. Rocky. <laughs> I really got a sharp right coming up as well at some point. You just let it go, Once did you? Once you committed, you couldn't, I couldn't stop. There's nowhere, the only way I stopped was if it fell off. See, I, I was thinking there's, the first person that goes down must have the clean run and then flick up all the big, big chunky stones yeah. for the rest to follow that are yeah, right in the middle. That's oh. why you went first. Yeah, I had a really clean run. It was like, <laughs> it was like Switzerland tarmac down there. <laughs> yeah. Did you not read the small print about there will be some jungle on one of my gravel rides? doing to us Darren? I don't know I thought we had just had a nice little bit of road back to Mark where we could find a shop get a nice cold drink and you decided you wanted to come in a field I'm following your <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think many people come this way and that bright away <laughs> we need a machete well that's kind of disappointing because we had to get stung and ripped to shreds coming through that first little bit of jungle thinking it was opening out that, you know we can get through I don't oh, think... what, there's a hedge line all the way down in the middle. Yeah. But the uh, other side of Kev there, and that, that's river. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay. All right, so we've admitted defeat. We've come back to the gate, a different gate, so we didn't have to go through the jungle, but we're back on the road. <laughs> Slight disaster. Like a night hawk stealth plane, you are hiding out in the shadows, keeping from the light of day. So, what's the verdict on the flat bar bike? Well, this is a specialized Cirrus X, it's a one by, uh, it's got eight gears, and at no point today have I felt under geared or under biked. It's performed magnificently. I have felt like I've bounced around in the saddle a bit at times on some of the bumpier fields. Whereas I know in the, on the trek to Marnie in the past, it's glided over, but the Demani has got an ISO fixed suspension in it, so that's probably why. But I've had a blast today on this bike. It's been, uh, been an experience. And I could certainly recommend that if you want to get into a uh, gravel bike riding and you can't really afford the money to buy a gravel bike have a look at one of these have a look at a flat bar gravel bike they're around four to five hundred pounds and they do the job they're a little bit heavier but everything else is there for you to have a whale of a time and just put a grin on your face as you ride these gravel trails and go places that you can't go on a road bike i love it i absolutely love it How are you found today, Kev? It's challenging in the end. Challenging, it's a tough route. <laughs> you went off like a rocket. Yeah, as you said, Run out of steam. <laughs> How have you found the bike? Oh, it's brilliant. Um, it's going to be weird going back to my specialised. Yeah, well, Christmas is coming up in three months, so dear Father Christmas, please <laughs> dear, can I? Dear Rachel, <laughs> please come on.
<laughs> but yeah, I do love that bike. A bit dirtier now than when uh, we set off, though. Yeah, you've got to wash it before you go home. <laughs> <laughs> That's the deal. <laughs>